almost got it. I'll keep reaching for it. <laughs> what are you doing? Chill! Welcome back to Talking Serpents. Today, I'm going to show you how I clean my reptile enclosures. So, I will be cleaning Bandit. He is my male false water cobra. I definitely clean his enclosure oh man, nearly maybe twice as much as I would clean any of my other reptiles. These definitely uh, go to the bathroom more often. Oh yeah, I'm talking about you, don't you hide from me. Uh, if you notice that the, uh, the video quality is better, I am using my new camera, which I'm super excited to use. All right, let's just get after it. So first off, since I am alone, uh, and Stephanie's not here to help me. Um, I'm going to take my animal and I'm going to put it in a plastic tub. Alright, so this is the tub. It usually works for many of my snakes because I have, say, between small, medium, large. This tub seems to work for all of them. It is uh, 51 quarts. It's a plastic tub. It's the lid. This lid, I do have holes drilled all throughout it, so obviously your animal can breathe. That's pretty important, right? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and grab them, and then I'll put them in the tub. That way I can start uh, taking apart his enclosure. Alright, so this is him. This will have to clean so often, but so, so, so worth it. Put him in the tub, which I'm sure he doesn't want to be in the tub anyways, because if you've got lots of energy in this tub, it's definitely not going to be big enough for him. But for the hour or less it takes me to clean this enclosure, perfect. So now, let's just get after it. And uh, everything's got to come out. All of the, uh, the hide, all the plants, bedding, water bowls, everything's going to get clean. That way I can completely clean the walls, make them spotless, sanitize them, clean the sliding glass doors, all of it. All right, so now I have taken everything out of the enclosure. I still need to take out uh, the thermometer and the hydrometer and the bedding obviously but uh, over in this cabinet over here um, I have this spray bottle that I got from either Walmart or Target uh, it's 10 to 1 water and bleach solution 10 part water 1 part bleach so I have that and then I have this tub I have specific for all my reptile cleaning needs. In here is a specific sponge I use just for my reptiles. Cleaning brush, a stainless steel wire brush for those hard situations. So I'll take these. That's probably what I'm going to need right now. A sponge and my trusty toothbrush and my 10 to 1 water bleach solution and I'll go to the bathroom hey bandit are you still restless? of course if I want to come out and hang out and what I do with all the uh, everything that goes in the enclosure I put it right in the tub and uh, that way I can turn on the shower, turn on hot Rinse it all down, and then I'll go ahead and take my 10 to 1 water bleach solution, spray them down on top, on bottom, flip it over, whatever you got to do, 
And then I will take most likely the coarse side of the sponge and my toothbrush to get a hard to reach areas and make sure I scrub all the nook and crannies because this is definitely going to be one that I'm going to have to scrub, you know, in the weird hard to reach places. But you got to do what you got to do to make sure everything's sanitary and clean. And then I would, once again, rinse all the bleach and water solution off. And then uh, if you smell any bleach, you need to rinse it again. And as many times you gotta rinse it to make sure you don't smell any bleach. Okay. So go ahead and rinse it all down with all that hot water. Water on the back side, underneath. Get it all soaked down. Alright. Shoe. Now everything's rinsed down. Time to spray it with the bleach solution. Scrub it and rinse it. it over. Push it to the back side as well. That way we uh oh spray ball needs to be refilled. Can we make it? Oh we can make it. We're good. Alright, that should be enough. Couple for good luck. All right, now time for me to sit here and scrub it real good for a few minutes. All right, now that I got everything 100% washed and rinsed thoroughly, so where I can't smell any bleach, we will go back to the enclosure. Still moving? Oh, later. All right. Oh yeah, by the way, this is, uh, you're definitely gonna get uh, a little bit messy. So yeah, time to, I usually just get like a dustpan. You can even use a shop vac, um, whatever you like. But uh, I use dustpan and then I take all the old bedding and take it out. All right, time to take out all the bedding. We got all the bedding out. The next step is to take our take the glass out. In my case, um, and then I'm going to spray my 10 to 1 bleach and water solution all over the walls, not on the light bulbs, not on the heat bulbs, our LED strip, any of that. All right, I got my glass all taken off. And I got my bleach water solution all filled up. So let's go ahead and start spraying her down. Let's spray all the water. And I do a very, uh, a liberal amount, that's for sure. Definitely wanna make sure it's uh, getting cleaned. Bleach and water are very cheap. <laughs> and everything is coated. So, time to let it sit. I usually let it sit for about uh, 
three to five minutes and then I'll go ahead and I will scrub in there with my sponge and uh, if there's any so I have this like a, it's a fiberglass piece and sometimes things get stuck to it so that's why I use a stainless wire brush but in this case I don't need it it's actually not too dirty all right now that I'm all done wiping in all of the uh, I washed all the walls down and the floor. I will go ahead and take clean water. And now I'll wipe everything down once again. So I'll go ahead and wash the floor, all the walls, and then uh, make sure nothing smells like bleach again, which it already doesn't smell like bleach. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wash all the walls then uh, I personally am going to wipe them all down <clears throat> and then the enclosure will be pretty much clean just time to uh, clean the glass alright next time to clean the glass and it is... can you see it on the camera? not really picking up but it's pretty damn dirty so what I do is I have a wet cloth, just water, and I wipe it down very good, nice and damp, and then after I wipe one side, I will then take a clean and dry cloth and wipe it clean. That's it. No chemicals. All clean. Wait. Now we're good. We're good. Alright. Now... That's it. That's all it takes. It's clean water. And a little wipe down. So glass is in. Now it's uh, time for me to put in all the bedding and uh, put all those decorations and log hides and all that good stuff back in and then we could watch him explore for a little while. Should be cool. Let's see how he's doing now. Finally relax for a little bit. Almost done, Bandit. Ooh, he's flattening out. You see that? Ooh, he's not used to being in here. He's definitely a little defensive. You see it? These snakes are so cool. But the moment I pick him up and then he figures out it's me, he'll smell me, obviously. He'll relax and just crawl around. Super cool. So cool. <sighs> Almost done, Bandit. Just hang in there for another couple of minutes. Alright, so what I do is I put all the uh, all the little decor in here and I place it where I want. And uh, every time I uh, clean an enclosure, I usually change it. That usually prevents uh, cage boredom. That way your uh, animal gets in there and it can do something different. So I rearranged it a little bit and I placed it where they I want it to go. So now I'll go get the bedding and then I'll fill in. Uh, since this is a false water cobra, they do like to burrow a bit. They're mainly ground dwelling snakes. Uh, all they do, they do climb a little bit. Uh, I put quite a bit of bedding in there that way he can burrow and kind of have fun in that. Alright, I got all the bedding in. Looks really nice. Kind of have uh, his log hide kind of extending into this little um, 
little branch structure, I guess you can call it. We got an extra moss bulb, create more humidity in there. And then uh, his big water bowl, which I think is more like a, a snake pool. Think about it. Um, yeah, let's go get him. You gonna climb on me or you wanna go in? Oh, hold on. Well, I think he's more interested in climbing on me than he is. Oh, there you go, there he goes. Now, after you clean your snake enclosure, more than likely they go explore every single inch. Everything smells differently, especially if you moved everything, now everything looks different. Do you like it? I think he likes it. The tongue flickers on this guy mean, thank you. Thank you, sir. This is how you hold hands with a snake. Hello, sir. <laughs> yeah, check under the thermometer. Yeah. What's over there? Okay, yeah, yeah. okay, back over here. You gotta double inspect it. Alright, what is it? What you got in there? What's in there? Okay. Alright. Good. Uh huh. Alright. Slipknot's fate. Oh my god, I can't believe I just called him that. Bandit's favorite and favorite thing in the world. The water bowl. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't know, false water cobras love water. I'd say at least 25% of the time using the water bowl. I don't think you can fit in there. This will be interesting to watch. Okay, backing up. That's good. That's good. Are you saying thank you again? <laughs> yeah, he'll probably just uh, crawl around and Check out every square inch in the enclosure for at least an hour or two. That's not your enclosure, that's a cabinet. By the way, if you didn't know, um, <clears throat> I can I can speak to snakes. Because um, like, I'm always like talking to my snake, you know? Uh, yeah, I just, uh, I can definitely do that. Mm-hmm. It's like a Morse code. I read how many uh, tongue flickers and for how long, and that's how I figure out what he's saying. Yeah, totally. I'm not. I'm not pulling that out of my ass. But yeah, all done. All I gotta do is uh, lock up the sliding doors and. Uh, that's it. Oh, mm -mm. no, no, I gotta, I gotta sweep up because all that bedding makes a damn mess. All right. Well, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the content, subscribe for more. If you have any comments, put it in the comment section down below. I appreciate you. And strike that like button. Don't judge me.